Hi, Ryan Joyner here again from Athlon with a training tip to help you prepare for the Miracle Miles event coming up on May 7th. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your hip flexibility to have better hip extension, better run times, more efficient and feel better, all in just two minutes a day. So one of the keys to successful, efficient running is having good stride length behind you, having good hip extension as you're running. And that of course requires good hip flexor flexibility. Um, and if you're like most people and sit most of your day, uh, you're going to have a real challenge with hip flexor flexibility. So, here's how you fix that. Now you've probably seen the typical hip flexor stretch where, where you sit down on a knee, drive your hip forward, trying to stretch the hip flexor. And that's great, it's not a bad hip flexor stretch, you may be doing it yourself. But here's the problem, here's what we've learned from flexibility research, and that is that your stretch needs to be as specific to the activity you're trying to improve as possible. So, uh, case in point, being down on a knee, stretching your hip flexor has very little transfer to standing or running. So what we need to do is get you up into a running position for stretching the hip flexor. And that would look a little more like this. So now, in this running position, we're now, at least in a standing position, we're creating hip flexor flexibility. You're going to tuck your tailbone underneath, drive your hips forwards until you feel a nice stretch in the front of your hip. And of course, you're going to want it to stay square, straight forward. So, it looks like this, square, straight forward. And now, as you're, as you're now in this position, you're going to get a better transfer from this hip flexor stretch to your actual activity, which is running. Now, there's one more point that needs to be uh, understood here, and again, from flexibility research, the other thing that we're realizing about stretching is that there is a difference between internal focused stretching and external focused stretching. Internal focused stretching is where I'm paying attention to how the stretch feels in my hip. So as I'm stretching here, I can feel the tightness and that to me feels like a stretch, but with my brain on an internal focus, I'm actually creating tension in that muscle by being internally focused. So the trick is to actually get you externally focused while stretching. And here's how we do that. So we get into that position, a nice standing hip flexor stretch, all the things I had just said to do. Find that stretch, and now what I'm going to do is actually try to make a circle with the hip. So we're going to circle the hip here ten times. By creating that external focus, we're now allowing that range of motion to improve. And it, it actually really does get longer as we're circling. So we're going to take and just circle through this range of motion while we're in this stretch. Ten circles clockwise, ten circles counterclockwise. And that's the trick. So get you into a standing position that's more specific to the activity we're trying to improve at and take your brain to an external focus so that it will allow the hip to actually lengthen better and more effectively. All right, so here's your prescription. You're gonna get up and do this hip flexor stretch for 30 seconds or 10 circles each way on each hip twice a day. That's all it takes, two minutes total. I'm Ryan Joyner with Athlon Fitness and Performance. Thanks for watching today's tip. If you'd like more help, you can click on the website below, learn a little bit more about Athlon, and then request your free fitness and nutrition diagnostic consultation. Thank you very much, have a great day. Thank you.